So a quick video on adding hyperlinks through images in, in Microsoft um, programs like PowerPoint, Word, Publisher. So I'll just show you in PowerPoint again, um, open a blank presentation. This is just an, as, a, as an example. And um, I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to choose an image on my computer of, um, oh, let's just add, um i've been doing some work on my house uh, recently some plastering work so here's a picture of some plaster so um i'll ignore those design ideas for now i'm going to make my have a play with it and there's my image of my plaster now say i wanted to share that with someone and i wanted a direct link to somewhere that sold that plaster um that they could click on um, when they open the document so they can click on the image and it will take them straight to a place where they sell that plaster it's really really easy so first of all we need to find the address of that place that sells the plaster in this case so if I just open the internet up and I type in um, board finish plaster as an example and Travis Perkins not to advertise for them that's where it, they've got it so what I'm going to do is I've got the website address here now you can either just click it once and it highlights it or if it doesn't do that for you just click drag and highlight and then you're gonna copy that address you're then going to go back to your document or your PowerPoint and you're going to right click on your image and you will see you will have this link button so you can then either just click link there or click insert link there and then all you have to do is it will come up with existing file or web page is what that, that says there. It should come up, he says. No, it doesn't. Um, but you'll see it says address here. Now we have that address because we've already copied and pasted it. So now I'm going to right click and paste in there. And that's that should link straight to that. OK, now if I were to export this as a PDF, which is also really easy and I'll show you how to do it that picture will now be clickable and you'll be able to get straight there. We can test this within PowerPoint as well really easily by, as it says here, holding down control and clicking. It will load a little bit and then it will take us straight to that page. So we've got that link in there. Now, if we do this as a PDF, we can just file, save as, and then in here we could, I want to put it in my I'm going to browse, I think, for a place to put it. I'm going to put it in my Batod folder, hyperlink example. And I'm going to choose, rather than save it as a PowerPoint document, I'm going to save it as a PDF. Now, I often save it um, twice, once as a PDF, once as a PowerPoint, because the PDF you can't edit, the PowerPoint you can. So if I need to make a change, at least I can go back into the PowerPoint and change things. So I'll edit, save it this time as a PDF. And click Save. And if I just navigate to my Batod folder, I'll see here I've got my hyperlink example PDF. So I'll open that. And here it is. And you'll see when I hover my mouse over that picture, it turns into a little hand. Now that means I can click that. So if I click it, guess where it's going to take me? It's going to take me straight to that website. And that's how it's done. I hope that was useful. Thank you.